Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMZN, Amazon. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. I'm not sure what I mean by 30-minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Also, from a disclaimer standpoint, I do own Amazon from the long side in my retirement account, so just keep that in mind as I go through the analysis here. Well, I don't mean to say it the obvious, but I will anyways to build some context. But overall, a very nice move on this one. When you stop thinking about the fact that just on Monday, the price was flirting with these lows, and all of a sudden, it's worked its way back up to that area. Don't get me wrong, there's still work to be done. But overall, a nice move here. But that does lead to the more than valid question of, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength? Or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? And I have no idea. But by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single area. And that area is down here at the 31.25 mark. Why is 31.25 important? And I'm not saying at all that this is what's going to happen. But just for explanation's sake, if the price were to come down to that level, behave in that manner, and then continue on down, what would that be doing to the price? Well, that would quite literally be putting the price right back inside of the range of the chart that it just broke out from. And I mean, not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where it was, not exactly a sign of true power, true strength. Now, to be fair, no price can go straight up. So maybe the price comes down here, behaves in that manner, then starts to work its way back upwards. Now, all of a sudden, what would you have? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have that set of lows down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, there you go. Now you have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is going to do. It's going to make progress forward. So in this situation, like I said, keep an eye very closely on the 3125 mark. As far as areas of resistance are concerned, it is all about the purple line there right now, which on my chart, you know, it's a very well-known, the very famous 50 period moving average. If the price push, pushes up above there, though, the next key overarching level of resistance, then watch very closely, would be right up there at the 31. Let me make sure I got that right. The 3180 mark. So 3180, next key level of resistance, assuming, of course, the price can break above that purple line there. But overall, nice little bounce here. Now it's just a question of can the price build upon the momentum moving forward? Let's see what happens. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not. And I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded. And you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.